What is up my peeps? Joshua Smith here with this week's Leveling Up with Joshua Smith. So on this show every single week, you guys, we just talk about just that leveling up. You know, okay, I'm at here in my life, I need to get to the next level. Um, I gotta do certain things, take certain actions uh, to, to, to get to the next level to operate at my full potential. So every single week we talk about that, right? We talk about different things, um, uh, tactics to employ, struggles that we all go through, how to overcome those struggles. So this show every single week is dedicated to leveling up too. Because unless you're, unless you're constantly leveling up, um, you're never gonna achieve greatness. Like you will never operate at your full potential unless you were like obsessed with leveling up in your life, getting better every single day, every single week. Like if you're not better today than you were yesterday, um, there's a problem there, right? Uh, uh, like if you're ever searching for, for stability, um, dude, you're gonna wind up with a mediocre existence. Like what people are always like, oh dude, I, I just want a stable job. I want a stable income. I want a stable marriage. I'm like, good luck with that, right? Like on this planet, you have to understand that you're doing one of two things. And only one of two things. Every, every species, every, every, you know, you look at uh, animals, plant, I mean everything. Like think about a tree. What does a tree do? A tree plants and you start with the seed and it starts growing its roots as deep as it possibly can, starts growing the trunk, grows its branches as, as wide as it possibly can. The second it stops growing, what happens? It starts decaying. Like so you're either growing or you're dying. Right, growing or you're decaying, um, and human beings are the same way. Like, have you ever seen somebody, or, or maybe in your life you've you've had somebody, maybe a grandparent or, or just somebody that you've known that uh, the second they retire, like they go out there and retire, and now for um, every year that goes by, it looks like they've aged five, right? Like, I think we've all probably witnessed that, right? Um, and it's not like it's not that retirement's bad, right? It, it's just that they stop growing because in their job, their job is what forced them to grow. You know, right? So I'm not saying that retirement's bad. I mean, retirement's nothing that I'm interested in. Like, my goal is like someday I'll like I'll be rolling up here in the studio with my freaking walker and be like, "What's up, guys?" Like we're we're here rolling, right? I'm like 98 years old and we're just grinding. Uh, um, so retirement's something that I, I, I you know, I, I never strive for personally. Um, I freaking hate the word. Um, however, um, you know, for those that want to retire, there's nothing wrong with retirement. Um, just don't stop growing, right? Think you you then have to have a growth plan for other elements of your life, because dude. If you're not growing, you are freaking dying. You know, your, your, your brain will start dying, right? So, so you want to keep stimulating that and growing that. So, so that's what this show is about, right? So always kind of leveling up, always growing, always trying to operate your full potential and some of the struggles. Last week's episode, if you guys didn't see that, if you didn't hear that, it was about haters. And the difference between, you know, haters, why you need them, why you need to love them, um, why you can't be afraid of them. You know, the number one uh, fear on people, or I'm sorry, re uh, regret on people's deathbed is not going after and creating the life they wanted out of fear of being rejected and criticized by others. You know, so you're gonna get haters, dude. And, and, and like we talked in last week's show, why do you have those? Um, it's because they see you pushing so hard it makes them feel shittier about themselves because you're actually doing it, right? And you kind of take away that excuse now of why they're not doing it. Um, so, so if you didn't see that, go back and check that out. But what are we gonna talk about today? So today we're gonna talk about um, elimination in your life. You know, one, one thing that's uh, come up multiple, multiple times this week and why it sparked me to, to talk about this this week is I've had multiple people reach out to me this week like, okay, Josh, I want to level up um, with, with the people, my environment really, right? So, so one true statement, one true fact, and some of the best business advice you can ever get, not just business, but success in life, um, is your result of the five people that you spend the most time with, right? So you are a direct result of the five people that you spend the most time with, right? So like if I want to get into epic shape, I want to get in epic shape, um, but all my friends and the five people I spend most time with are all like fat and out of shape. Um, and Friday evening, dude, they're, they're going out to freaking eat ice cream instead of going climbing the mountain. Um, I'm, if, I, if I don't leave that environment, I'm going to continue down that path. Like if I want to get into better shape, I got to start rolling with people that are in better shape. Like if I want an epic marriage, an amazing marriage, well, I can't then go hang out with a bunch of couples that have shitty marriages that there's all this freaking drama. I got to hang out with other couples that have an epic, awesome marriage. You know, if you want to be a successful entrepreneur and make money, um, then dude, you need to go out there and hang out with other successful entrepreneurs that share your vision, that share your strategy. It's the only way that you're going to continue leveling up. So, so a question I get all the time um, is how do I start doing that? Like how do, how, do I, how do I change my environment? How do I start uh, hanging out with different people? How do I reach up for friends? Um, you know, how, how do I add new people into my life? So, and, and I think when we, when we look at success, um, the wrong thing is looking at how do I add these? You know, people are always like, oh, reach up for friends. Well, dude, here, here's the deal. It doesn't freaking necessarily work that way, right? Um, 
like, like it, it just didn't happen that way. Like, okay, I might want to go hang out with, like, like right now, dude, I want to go hang out with Ryan Blair. Like, if you're listening to this show, dude, I want to go chill with you, right? So, so Ryan Blair um, is the CEO, CEO of a multi-billion dollar company, right? Got a dope book out there called Nothing to Lose, Everything to Gain. I'm actually reading it right now, reading it for the third time. He's got an awesome uh, documentary out there. He's a CEO of Vice House. Just this awesome guy. Right? Well, well, Ryan, dude, this guy's net worth of hundreds and hundreds of millions of dollars, just a badass. Um, I can't get on the phone and be like, hey, Ryan, wanna go hang out this weekend? Right, right? Like, it just didn't happen, dude. He, he's not necessarily accessible. Um, he, he, he wouldn't have the desire necessary to hang out with me, right? So, so how to, but one of my visions is like, someday, dude, you know, we, we, we might be chilling. We might have a strategy session together. And I don't want that strategy session of him just teaching me. I want to have a strategy session of, dude, like, let's talk together and mastermind together of how we're going to go out there and freaking change the world, right? So, so in order to make that become a reality, I have to then become, um, I've got to level up in my life to a point where maybe I get his attention or, or he sees me as somebody that would be worth his time to invest his time um, because maybe there's a way and an element that I can add value to his life as well. So um, the, the quickest way to getting and surrounding yourself with other people, like, like for example, I'm in the real estate community and a lot of people are like, like dude, you know, how, how do I go and hang out with top producers like yourself or these other top producers that you hang out with, with within, within around the country? I'm like, the quickest way to do is become a top producer, right? Like I wasn't freaking hanging out with top producers, dude, until I became a top producer. Like, like become the person you want to go chill with, become that person, and then they'll want to be around you. Then you will attract those people in your world. But until you become them, you're not going to attract them in the world. So what happens and how do you become them? Quit trying to add. Um, it's just not going to happen. You need to become them. Well, how do you become them? It starts with elimination. Right, so, so success isn't an addition, it's an elimination. So then I'm gonna analyze, okay, who must I eliminate and what must I eliminate in my life uh, in order for me to have the success that I want? Like ask yourself, like if you're not where you wanna be, just be honest, dude, ask yourself, get out a piece of paper and be like, okay, what must I eliminate in my world that's prohibiting me from doing the things I know I need to be doing to create the success that I wanna create? Dude, and it may be negative people, like maybe it's a negative spouse, maybe it's a negative, you know, friends, ne you, whatever, negative people that don't support your vision, that don't share your vision, that aren't uplifting you, that aren't inspiring you, like when you're grinding on a Sunday in the office all freaking day, like all they're doing is freaking nagging you and making you feel guilty, making you feel like shit. Um, those are people you don't wanna be around. Like if anybody in my world they were like, dude, Josh, you need to slow down. You need to take it easy. Dude, that to me is the biggest red flag. Like, I'm like, peace the fuck out, dude. Like, later, right? Like, I don't want to be a part in those relationships. Like, you, you're going or, you know, you're, you're growing or you're going. Like, I want to operate with people that are like, oh, dude, yeah, I, I, I respect the grind. I love the grind. I love what you're doing. Uh, um, you know, and we inspire each other. We uplift each other. We help strategize each other. We share those visions. Just because I had a shared past with somebody does not mean I need to share a future with them. Like, if we don't have a shared vision, I'm not going to roll with them in the future. So, I start with elimination. So, let's just go with people first, right? So, I'm going to look at people. And one of the best things that I've, I, I, I've done is, and I, I was through going through a, a boot camp mentorship program, um, and they had me do this exercise, and it was dope, right? So it's okay. Let, let's get a list of your maintenance friends, right? So get two lists, right? One of your maintenance friends and one of your growth friends. So let's look at all these out. And, and when I did this, dude, I had a lot of maintenance friends. Maintenance friends means, you know, these are the people that, like, you're not talking about big level items. Like, you're not growing. They're, they're just maintenance friends, people that you grew up with, whatever it may be. And then make a list of your growth friends. Like, who do you get around that you talk about goals? Like, you're not talking about the game that happened last night. You're not talking about, uh, um, um, you know, gossiping. You're not talking about that crap. You're talking about, you know, like, last night, for example, I had a dude on the show, an epic, epic, amazing guy named Simon Smart. After the show, dude, we did a strategy whiteboard session for, like, three freaking hours on the whiteboard talking about epic stuff. I mean, to the point where, like, I'm sitting there, we're talking, talking, talking. I'm, like, freaking loaded up with goosebumps everywhere. But, like, who are the people in your life that are like that, right? So, for me, it was, I had a huge huge laundry list of maintenance friends. And I had a very, very small um, list, um, almost nobody as far as my growth friends, right? So I knew that I didn't need any more maintenance friends, I need more growth friends, right? So I was gonna work on that, but the only way I'm gonna get more growth friends is to become the person and attract those people in my life. So, so I started eliminating people, right? That was the best way for me to do it. Start elimination against success in addition, it's in that elimination so then I can get to work on becoming the man I wanna become. So then I, I get through those, I start eliminating those people. Like, okay, who, who are the people in that maintenance list that are then withholding me Again, what is keeping you from accomplishing the goals that you want to uh, accomplish? And when I say maintenance friends, like, I'm not going to give everybody the X. 
I got some amazing, you know, great friends that I've grown up with that are, that are brilliant friends that would do anything on the planet for their epic. I'm not going to lemon him for my hell. No, I'm not going to lemon him. What I mean by that is, is are there people that really aren't friends or just acquaintances? Like maybe if I'm at the bar drinking with them, we're buddies, but as soon as I stop, like we're no longer friends. Um, who are the people that don't support me in my vision and mission? Maybe they're not leveling up themselves in their life, but like they're, they're cheering me on. You know, you got to kind of pay attention to that. Like, like when you're succeeding, who's clapping um, and who's not? You know, right? So you want to pay attention to that. And so I started eliminating the people that, that didn't support my vision, that really weren't true friends, right? And then what would I do with that time? Right? So, so I'd eliminate that. And then what would I do with that time? Well, I'd get immersed. So like, for example, if I want to go, if I want to go hang out with this person or become this person, become this level of success, I am going to become immersed in studying what those guys do. And we live in such a unique time, which is so dope about the time that we live in with YouTube, with, with whatever. I can get all the information I need. I don't have to go out there and have a, like, okay, let's look at Darren Hardy. You know, I just read his book, Entrepreneurial Roller Coaster. I've read Compound Effect. I've done his insane productivity coaching program. The dude's brilliant. Well, I don't need to go hang out with Darren right now. I mean, I'd love to, but I don't need to go hang out with Darren um, to, to tap into his mind. I don't need to go hang out with Darren to hang out with Darren, right? Uh, I go on YouTube and find hours and hours and hours and hours of content of exclusive interviews, of keynote speeches. I can read his books. I'm going to immerse myself um, in everything that he's ever written, everything that he's ever published, every speech that he's ever done. I'm going to immerse myself in there. Right? And not just to immerse myself to get the information, I'm going to immerse myself in there um, to get the information so then I can take action on it so I can start becoming the man um, that I want to become where then I'm able to attract those types of people in my life. You know, so, so you got to start with elimination. It's the only way you're going to do it. Success always comes from elimination, not addition. Right? So, so then we look at other things, not just friends, but then you know, substances. Like, okay, are there any substances in my life that are prohibiting me from getting the success that I want? You know, from people to substances to behaviors, and then you go on that. You go down that track of, okay, I'm going to eliminate these things. I know that these things, like it, it, it's simple. What's the outcome that I want? What are the problems and obstacles in the way? And what are the must-do action steps to eliminate these problems and obstacles to get the outcome I want? And then you just become obsessed with this, dude, every single day. Reflect, plan, execute. Reflect, plan, execute. And you're just going through eliminating, dude, like elimination. You know, uh, um, so, so that is really the key. So people all the time, again, are, Josh, how do I reach up? How do I add more friends? I want to add more growth friends. Again, dude, start eliminating the shit that you have so that it makes room in your life for you to get uber-focused on becoming, studying, and, doing, and taking the action to become the man or the woman or the person that you want to become, um, so then you attract those people in your life. Actually, Darren Hardy, since, we, since uh, we're kind of talking about him, um, in The Compound Effect, he talks about a book with, with going out there, or in his book, talks about um, meeting his wife. Yeah, right? So, so, and this is before he met his wife. He's like, dude, I, I um, decided as a point in my life where I wanted to meet a girl and, and get married and, and do that, do that, you know, that next phase of his life, right? So, so he's like, all right, I, I'm going to go, because um, he's a big clarity on my vision, right? So he got a 40-page notebook. He's like, I filled out a 40-page notebook, dude, like pretty intense, right? 40 pages, but uber successful people are that hardcore with their vision. Like it already exists in their life, right? In their subconscious. So he filled out 40 pages of everything about her. Like, who's this girl going to be? What is she going to look like? Like the point of the texture of her hair, what's her upbringing? Like any, like he, he filled it out, right? Like that detail, 40 pages. Um, he, <laughs> he filled out a notebook. So then in the book he talked about, he goes, okay, now it wasn't like, okay, let me go find this chick. Let me go out and find her. He, he, I think he refers to it as that's like chasing butterflies, right? He goes, I wasn't like, I wasn't focused on going and finding her. Now I filled out another 40 page notebook on what man must I become in order to attract a woman like this in my life? Who must I become? So this woman wants me and is attracted to me. He's like, dude, then I just want to work on this. I had this vision. I didn't lose the vision. I set that aside. That vision motivated me to take action on this. But my focus was on becoming the person I knew I must become to attract this person in my life. So that is how you reach up for friends. It's such, it, it, it's such bullshit because people are always like, oh yeah, you, you know, the five people you spend the most time with is, is you know, the, the, you're, you're, you're the average result of the five people you spend the most time with. And then everybody, nobody really talks about, well, how the hell do you do it? Like, I want to become a billionaire while I exist on this planet. Like, dude, there's no billionaires right now that I can freaking call up on the phone and be like, hey, dude, let's go chill. Hey, Richard Branson, dude, let me fly out to your private island. Let's go hang out this weekend. You know, right? Like, it doesn't happen. 
right? So, so the, what am I focused on doing? I am focused on, on becoming that person so then I can attract these people in my life. Like, who must I come so these guys want to come hang out with me? Where they think that I'm cool enough to, for us to have conversations and talk strategy and talk about how we can change the planet. Like, I got to go out there and do some epic shit with my life so then I can get their attention, get on their radar, and attract them into my world. So, so but the only way that that's going to happen is you have to, you have to make room. You've got to eliminate anything that's blocking your path. You've got to create that room. Again, so you can do the activities. You can get the information in your mind um, and just become obsessed with it. So uh, uh, anyway, again, success is always in the elimination, not in the addition. Hope you found this helpful, you guys. Uh, uh, homework for this. Not that uh, these are typically give you the homework, but uh, I think it's probably maybe a cool strategy. Maybe we'll start doing that. Um, so do that, dude. Do that. Like, Do a list right now. What is the outcome that I want? What are the problems and obstacles in the way? What are the must-do action steps to eliminate these problems and obstacles? And then get another piece of paper, write out, okay, who are my maintenance friends, right? And then who are my growth friends? You don't need to add more maintenance people to your life. You don't need to add more maintenance activities to your life. Start getting then uber-focused on adding more growth friends and growth activities to your life. Do those two things. Um, it's, a, it's a definitely a big game changer. So anyway, I hope you guys found this uh, uh, helpful. Go out there, keep crushing it. Go out there, create that epic life. Dude, you only have one shot at this, this existence. Uh, you don't want to be that cat that's on your deathbed that's like, oh crap, I just pissed away this one gift called life that God blessed me with and now there's no chance for me to go back and do anything about it. Don't be that guy, right? Operate at your full potential. Keep leveling up. Live the epic life that you know you want and you freaking deserve it. But you get it's work, dude. You got to start making those choices. And again, that's what all the show's about. So hope you found this helpful. Have a dope week. See you guys next week here on the show and uh, keep dominating. Peace out.